my name is Alan Handelsman, and I want to welcome you to my portion of the mini conference from Ozark Research Institute. I'm happy and honored to be a part of this and to be have been invited to participate. I met Harold and Gladys about 20, 22 years ago, and it's been a wonderful journey with them and through my spiritual path. What I'd like to share with you today is something that I came up with out of necessity just a couple of weeks ago. It's a tough time for a lot of us, and, it, and I've been going through a tough time of my own. I feel like it's um, steps that I need to take along my spiritual journey, and I reached a point where I was stressed, and I was overwhelmed, and I didn't even know what to do. I, don't, I didn't know what to ask for. I didn't know what a healing would look like. I, I wanted, wanted to feel different in my own skin, in my own body, and I didn't even know how I wanted to feel. I can't describe what would be right, and I couldn't describe what was wrong. So I sat down, and it came to me that I just want to clear, clear the path, make it a little bit easier to take one step, and then another step, and then another step along the path. So I decided to do the best healing I could for myself just to clear the path. And I came up with something that I think is different than a lot of other healings. This is not meant to replace anything else that you or anybody else is doing. This is just another option. So if you feel overwhelmed, for me, when I feel overwhelmed, I really don't want answers to questions. What I want is to know what the next question is and to be able to be open to maybe bends in the path. Uh, the path behind me here, here, see? Tough, tough sense of direction. My path this way, it looks pretty straight, but most of our paths are not. And you can see pretty far ahead. This is a lot of steps along this path here, but um, I'm looking for maybe just one or two steps. I hope that there's a day when the next step is the last step and there's a total total spiritual healing and um, as wonderful as I ever imagined that I could be and would wanna be. So what I'd like to do is take you through this process with me um, and I'll take myself through it and you'll see what I do. Um, I will take all of you along if that's okay. I would like to have you participate just by watching or by going through the steps with me or making believe that what I'm doing for myself, I'm doing for you because I am doing it for you. I'm doing it for everybody who's watching at this very moment. In fact, I have a little card that has your name on it so that you can be a part of this. Uh, how I got to put your name on a card is um, one of the things that I'm, I'm proud of and one of the things that I've learned in my journey of healing. So um, you will have a card with your name specifically on the card so that you will receive the healing. Here's the card. Whoops, there it is. So notice that your name is on the card and what that means is that everything that happens that could be a healing will be a healing for you. This is a little bit different because I'm not dowsing for answers. I'm actually dowsing for what questions should I ask? Um, I'm, I'm dowsing not to heal per se, but to be able to take the next step in my healing with more ease and clarity and effectiveness. That's all I could ask for is one more, instead of a large healing, I'm asking for one more step, an easier step, uh, guidance in that step. So many of you know uh, dowsing techniques where the first step is to clear what's negative or non-beneficial. And lots of times the, the um, pendulum will go counterclockwise. And then you add um, love and healing and light and love, all of that. And the, the pendulum goes around clockwise. Well, I've added an extra step. And I've also eliminated the words. And I've, I've substituted images for words. As a, as a practicing hypnotherapist, I use images um, 
much more frequently than than words. So, uh, and because I've been in the forest many times or been in the woods, uh, been on the beach, been on a road, it doesn't matter what path you choose or what image you use. But I've been those places, so I know what trees and rocks and the path looks like. And I know what it looks like when it's hard to keep going, it's hard to take steps. And I know what it looks like when it's much easier to take steps. So that's, that's, what, that's what I know, so that's what I use. And I trust that my healing system can make the connection between what I know and what it knows. So it will take that and use it to clear the path in the way that it knows how. So there's three steps. Instead of just clearing out and then adding, I added another step because I love to simplify. So I added a step. Makes perfect sense to me. Um, so the step that I added was rearranging or cleaning or um, what the, what's the other word that I used? Uh, repairing. So I'll show you how that works. So there's going to be three steps. One is sort of the basic clearing the path. The second is uh, rearranging, and I'll show you how that works. And the third is, um, is adding what's needed. So uh, that's the three steps. Now, in the first step of clearing, if you use a pendulum, you can just use images and think of this and imagine it happening. And that's a healing. And I've done, done it that way. And this time I decided to add a second form. By the time we're done today, we'll add a third way of reinforcing what's happening. So images and pendulum, use either one or both. So imagine that I'm going to imagine that I am walking along a path. Um, of course, I don't know where it is. There it is. And uh, I see a path that's has many more trees and there's trees that are across the path so that I'd have to step over them. There's rocks in the path. There may be puddles in the path and I see stones at least. And I see all of this. And what I'd like to do is ask that these obstacles are eliminated. So I imagine that maybe there's several people and they start lifting the tree that's right across the path, or they're clearing out the rocks, or they may be uh, sweeping out the water from the puddle. And if you do it with the pendulum, you'll know that um, once, once that's cleared, then the pendulum will stop moving. And it's about happening now. The pendulum knows that we're not gonna take an hour to do this, we're gonna take less. Now, the second part of the path, I realized that even though now that everything's clear, there may be like potholes in the path. Uh, maybe, maybe they took, out, take a, took away a big boulder and there's a hole in it. And there's maybe ridges. If you've ever driven where there's no paved roads, you know those ridges. I know them. And one of the cars that I left on the road knows it too. So, um, so this is a matter of rearranging. It's smoothing out the path, maybe. Um, it's anything that doesn't take anything away or add anything. I think of starting out this day on the path, and maybe as I look at the path, I realize the temperature, and I button my coat, or I tie my shoelaces. So things like that that, don't, that are rearranging, or we already have everything we need, and now we're just again, adjusting them, okay? So maybe adjustment, rearrangement, um, repairs. So I think of somebody coming and just smoothing the path, uh, adding, some, adding some of the, the dirt from a high part and moving it over to the low part, smoothing it out. So since it's not scrambling or clearing and it's not adding, your pendulum can go in whatever direction you'd like. My pendulum, when I gave it the choice, seemed to go clockwise. So that's what I use. Um, so now I imagine buttoning my clothes, um, checking my pockets to make sure I have whatever I need, um, making sure my shoes are tied, 
things like that. And let's see if I missed any anything like that. Um, eliminating potholes, yeah. Even blowing my nose, uh, you know, you, you just blow your nose before you go along the path and maybe that helps you breathe better. So whatever it is, putting a hat on, putting sunglasses on, things like that. And I can feel that that part of the job is done. And my, my pendulum stops moving in a circle. That's the way I do it. And you have a way that probably works better for you than my way works for me. So that's great. Once again, this whole thing is not to replace anything that you do that's working. Um, I find it as I go through the steps in my spiritual journey and the path changes, maybe changes direction, maybe changes uphill, downhill, that, that what I do changes and how I do healings for myself and, and the, the help that I ask for and the help that I receive from other people and other healers is different. So um, let's see. So now we're up to step three. We've cleared the path. So we, don't, we know we don't have to jump over trees and all of that. We're wearing the right clothes. Um, things are buttoned up so that we're comfortable. Shoelaces are tied so that adds a little bit of safety. And then let's add what would help us along the journey. Now the images, um, sunshine, okay, and there it goes. So I can see better, maybe again, adding sunglasses if I don't already have them, a set of binoculars so that I can use them maybe to see further ahead. Um, let's see what else I thought of here, sunglasses. Um, let's see, maybe a knee brace, adding a breeze. Okay, so imagine now that you're walking through the woods and ah, you feel a nice breeze. If you're in a warm place, it's a cool breeze. If it's a cool place, maybe a warm breeze. I imagine that the breeze hits my back, which allows me to go further along the path with less effort. Uh, sunshine, clarity. So there are a few words that, that I hook up. Um, I would like clarity, I would like an open heart. So anything to help me breathe easier um, and love in my heart. And that's sometimes something I need to add instead of just feeling like it's already there. And there we go. And then the pendulum stops turning. So that's it. Now you've done it two ways. If you've done it with me, with your pendulum, then you've done it two ways. You've done it with images, which some people, that's all they do. And you've done it with, um, with the pendulum. So that's two components, maybe makes it twice as powerful. Um, maybe I just need all the help I can get. So that's how we do it. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. And it's a tool that I use. It's a tool that I've developed. And it's a tool that I use. And it's called a resonance tuner. And it looks like that. There are other forms of it. And it's a lot like other healing tools. This one, again, I have a fondness for. So if I take this pen and make believe that this is the path, then I'm going to hold this tuner over the pen. I'm also going to put your name into it. So this is not just my path, but this is the path for you and for anybody else. It's not the same path, but it's the same energy. And I find that this healing tool sort of does those three processes. Um, it clears, it gets rid of energy that's interfering, it harmonizes whatever energies are there so that everything gets along better. Um, the thought just occurred to me, if there are animals along the path, instead of them uh, biting me or looking, looking at me as the next meal, um, Maybe the animals point the way or they come with me and I have company. So instead of not getting along with the animals in some way or the animals not welcoming me, now there's a, a harmonious energy between us. Um, and the tuner also brings an energy in and of itself, which 
maybe clear space so that other energies that want to come in, and I believe that there are, can do that. And usually when I take a deep breath, I know that it's done. Um, this is not a commercial for what I do, although you can find out what I do. It's not a commercial for the tuner itself, although I do have them available for sale. So feel free to uh, contact me. You've got over there, you've got my name and number, you've got some ways of contacting me, and I will be happy to answer questions that you have. Um, I love this stuff because heal it, my healing journey has forced me to save my own life a few times, I think, uh, at least my emotional life. So um, I, I enjoy it. I feel like I've been given a gift and I'm able to share some of this gift. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you, have, if you do this and, and it works for you, I'd love to hear about that. I especially love to hear it if nothing happens and you, and you call up and say, why didn't it happen? Um, I do text, okay? So you can use that phone number to text me. Um, every time I text, I feel 48 years younger because most of the best texters that I see are younger than I ever remember being pretty much. So I think that's, that's about it. We'll go over it, the three steps. Oh, I do want to mention the three steps, clearing the path, rearranging the path, and rearranging yourself a little bit to allow the journey to continue as comfortably, as easily, and as effectively as possible, and adding sunshine, clarity, um, better vision through glasses. <laughs> um, uh, or binoculars or whatever it is. Uh, I wear prescription glasses. That's why I have them on, not a fashion statement, so that uh, whatever, whatever will work for you. Now, those three steps can be done in any order. In other words, you may want to go out and clear the path. Well, you want to get your jacket on, you want to get your shoes on before you go. So you add them or you tie your shoelaces and before you do the clearing. So that's okay. Or you do the clearing, maybe you do the um, adding first. You open the window so that there's more sunshine. You adding and clearing can, can happen at the same time. You can trim the trees so that you have uh, a, better, a better, um, better vision. Better, you're adding sunshine by getting rid of uh, the leaves on the trees. So you can add whatever you need, you can add people, you can add animals, you can add guides, and then together you clear the path. So maybe you're going to do the adding the clockwise before you do the clearing. And you can douse for that. So you can, you can see what images come to mind, or you can douse what, what do I want to do first? What would help to do first? So it's a very flexible system. Uh, and I'm sure that before I do it many more times, it'll be different than what it is now. So if you have questions about it, I'd be happy to answer them. If you have suggestions, I'd love to hear that because I'd love to see what's coming next because I'm only one, one step ahead in my healing journey. The next step, I may need something a little bit different. So thank you very much for listening. It's been an absolute joy and a pleasure to be associated with ORI, not just uh, this time, but for many times. And as much as the whole COVID uh, situation has been tough, um, I've been able to visit ORI three times within the past two weeks, which is more than I was ever able to do before. And I am grateful for that. So thank you very much, Gladys Joyce, everybody at ORI, and for all of you. Thank you.